Why I decided to become a parent champion is when my son diagnosed when he was three years old. I was quite lucky at that time because when he was diagnosed, I got quite a lot of information about what's happening. Hearing other parents looking at things and hearing other parents where they've been diagnosed, they just like have confusion, they don't know what to do and what kind of services are, on, are happening for them. So this is why it pushed me up to start talking to parents. Why I decided to become a parents champion, because I've got a son with special needs, um, lonely needs, which is dyspraxia. And my main reason really is to give back something to the community and help other parents and carers that may be going through the same or similar situation and just to support them, you know, because as I know what I'm going through, then I know someone will be out there getting put from some support. Really. So that's my main the parents are more open to talk with us about all their problems. It's easier to talk with them because we are parents of the children with special needs. So they are more open to talk with us about their own problems. We set out to raise awareness of the Disabled Children's Register. We've nearly trebled membership. We've got almost a thousand children now benefiting from having a wand card. So those sort of headline figures are fantastic. And uh, closer to home, I think all the parent champions who've been involved have, will say that it's built their confidence immensely. In some cases, it's enthused them to go on and develop their skills elsewhere. Being able to um, go to places that I wouldn't have been able to go to, like going to um, London to meet the Minister of Child Care and you know, be able to voice out some of the things that, you know, questions that some parents would love to, you know, ask. Um, and, you know, the, the feeling of, um, the, you know, enrichment that you know, I have been able to, um, you know, help some families uh, who may need some help is it, just rewarding enough. That's, that's, a, that's a wonderful feeling. So personally, I think that is really good. It, 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 it's, it's that knowledge of where the services is within the borough, like who to go to, or who to speak to, and how to access those services. And it's, it's, it's building my confidence. Publicly speaking, it's been my confidence in, 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 in speaking publicly. Well, I wanted to say in terms of getting the nomination, I, I think we really want to give a heads up to the Family and Child Care Trust for helping us set up the scheme in the first place. Eleanor and I wouldn't have had the guts <laughs> or the wherewithal to do it without the help of the Family and Child Care Trust. And we were anxious about taking on more work when, uh, amongst all the cuts, there's, there's less resources. But it's just been fantastic. Our team are amazing and they encourage us to do more. So it's a really virtuous circle uh, in us being encouraged by our parent family.